I will do all. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, the one that I like most. Uh, yeah, this one here we have a history behind. You know, we we have this kind of you know feeling. You know, ha very happy. You know, expression. This one here is more adult, as you guys can see. Okay, so pay attention how this shape works. All right. This one here is more uh, a bit cute, but calm. This one here is a kind of chilly. All right. So I think I will do the C. Why? Because most of you are asking, and also this one here seems more simple because you are beginner, right? Hello, Tarcisio Domente. Hello, my friend. Welcome to the Vectorized Ship. Okay, my friend. So, uh, let me just group this. Oh, can you see this image? I will group this uh, using this tool, the vector group. And right now, you guys can do that. Uh, look. I will use this one. Okay. There we go. Let me just delete here these numbers. Oh, there we go. And right now, my friends, I'm going to lock this because I don't want you know to move this. Oh, now I can select and just vector right now. And now I will reduce the opacity. Why? Because I want to see bet in between the layers that I will create. All right, so let's get started here. The vectorize, my friends. First thing, vectorizing. pay attention to the shape here. Everything is very rounded and easy to, to apply because you don't need to, you know, use complex uh, forms. And now, using the ellipse, if you draw here and drag, you guys can see. I'm using mouse, right? Just let me place my tab on here. I don't need to have the tab right now. And I will bring this ellipse here below, okay? Or here below of the, the image. And now you guys can just uh, fit on here. My friend, I usually don't do that. I usually don't click here and drag. No, I usually do this. I just press Command and drag to duplicate this. Okay, and now you guys can resize. You guys can resize by clicking on the corner, okay, in this uh, rectangle tool. And you guys can just, uh, if you press Command and Shift, you guys can resize by snapping. Uh, like this. And of course, I will fit this onto here. Uh, look. I bring this onto here, okay. You don't need to be perfectionist, okay, about the curves because I did this in a hand drawing, so you don't need to be, you know, exactly precise about that. But later we can fix this. Let me do here the the top side. You guys can duplicate this. Oh, look again. Bring this to below. Just drag, okay, the layers in between. Let me change this color to see better. All right. This one here, I'll just uh, convert this to curves. There's a button called Convert to Curves. So keep the ellipse selected, Convert to Curves. And now you guys can do that. So look, after you convert, you will press A in order to select the node tool. And just click here at the top and bring this onto here. Oh, look, can you see? All right. We are just doing here the biggest shape, right? Uh, as you guys can see. <laughs> the vector stage is very ugly, I'd say. For this one, I can select the uh, ellipse, drag here, make this as white. Pay attention to, to the perspective, right? I'm not going to apply this above, I'll apply this below. Because you need to see the angle, all right? As you guys can see, we, we are seeing this a bit of uh, up. So I'll apply this below, over the hat. There you go. Let's do here the face shapes. Oh, this one here. I'll make a circle for the eyes, make this as black. Okay. Let me just organize here the layers. Oh, the eyes is here, right? You guys can make the symbols if you want. Oh, click here to create the symbols. Create. And now we have the symbols. Just drag this inside. Oh, there you go. Because later, if I change this to another color, another side will change just like that. Okay, just for now. Set up this correctly at this stage. And now I'll just create here the nose. That is the carrot. For this shape here, you guys can use a triangle if you want. Oh, let's use the triangle. But you guys can use the paint if you want as well. Oh, bring this onto here. I'm making this uh, orange already. Just uh, to have a color. There you go. And guys, I will apply a curve on here, right? How? First, you need to select this triangle. 
click here at the top, uh, convert to curves. Because once you convert this to curves, you guys now can change this shape here. Oh, just like that. You, you guys can make a bit more deformations. Okay. Just for this one. Okay. Alright, uh, this shape here, I'm gonna use the P, the paint tool, right? Because it's a rounded shape. Uh, P, create uh, one single line, as you guys can see. Increase here the width in order to have this shape here. Uh, can you see? We have a kind of rectangle. And the difference between using this curve instead of rectangle is because once you do that, you guys can use and manipulate this uh, with the node. The node tool is very awesome because of that. I use the node tool, all right? To modify this line. There you go. I remove here the fill. I don't want to have the fill. There you go. If I hide here the sketch, as you guys can see, I'm giving more shapes to my design. So this is the design uh, shape stage, right? Only shape. Oh, and now I'll create here the scarf. I'm going to use uh, the P, right? That is the paint tool. Why? Because the shape here is more uh, curved. Oh, I'll create here. Let me just press ask to unselect this line here. I'll try to get this a bit more fast. Oh, there we go. This is the low poly technique. After you create this shape here, select all the nodes. Okay, I'm pressing A again. Select all the nodes. Click here at the top to make this as smart. There you go, can you see? I'm not going to use the stroke at this moment, right? Just a few. Uh, no stroke, this is the stroke. And I'm going to use here uh, the green for now. Okay. Also, we have two shapes here. Where you guys can create right now here. Oh, look. The low poly technique is the fastest way to vector, my friend. Do that and you guys will be fine. Okay. Can you see, I did this, this very flat uh, shape, but I'm going to make this as a curve. Yeah. You guys can do this to make this more dynamic, just like that. Okay, oh. there you go. For another one, well, you guys can create the symbol as well for this one here. I'll create the symbols, just save your time and bring this onto here. And uh, I will apply this below. Okay, below of this scarf. And my friends, once you create all the all the shapes, you guys can start to group them because once you group, everything becomes very uh, organized. So select them, press Command and G, or you guys can click here Edit, okay, and you guys can group. Uh, layer here, uh, group, okay, Command G. There you go. Everything is grouped. Let me bring this onto here. Oh. Okay. And now, let's see which shape we need to do. Ah, oh, here at the belly we have some some circles. I make this as black, right? Oh, just like that. And duplicate. Save your time. Duplicate. Resize a bit to make this more dynamic. There you go. And also we have the arms. Okay, let's do that. For this one, I'm gonna use the paint tool as well. Oh. And I'll draw using the line, all right? There is a few option, turn it on, and I will just uh, switch between them. Click here in this arrow, and you guys can switch. Just like that. And I'll press again the P, but I'll create here with the other lines, right? Oh, look, press ask and create here oh, another line again. There you go. So we have just created right here, my friends, the arms. Okay. Oh, look, let me bring this and group them. Remember to keep all your layers organized. Oh, let me show you. Of course, there are some. Inner shapes that we still need to create, right? Here inside, of course, in this hat, uh, for example. To make this one, my friends, you guys can do that. Look. Let me show you. Can you see? Here is the head shape, 
right? So I can modify this. Let me activate here back the, the sketch. I will convert the head shape to curves because I want to fit this on my drawing. I'll click here, convert to curves. And now you guys can change the head shape just like that. Look how amazing it is, my friend. Look, uh, can you see? Factorize. <laughs> okay, now another stage is we need to create the inner shape that is here is inside of this shape here. Okay. First, you guys have this option that is called insert inside. Once you click here and you guys draw, uh, let me draw here with the paint tool. The shape here that you guys will see right now. Uh. The way that I vector is very different from the people that, you know, work with vector. I'd say that is faster because we can uh, manipulate better the line. So just like this. Okay. Can you see? Uh, and I can, of course, adjust this. Uh, and you guys can always, for example, can you see the shape? I'm not going to dig into the. Uh, I'm not going to dig into the detail right now. Okay, just the shapes, and now I'm getting used to the colors. So by the time you guys can uh, just change a bit the colors. There you go. You copy this one. Apply here. Okay. All right. And uh, now, my friends, can you see here this arm that I did? I, I will use here the symbols as well. Create, click here, select the group, click here, create. Once you create, you guys can drag this from the symbols and bring this onto here. And of course, <laughs> if you just apply like that, you guys can see how his uh, hand is being applied. But I will flip this. Click here, flip horizontal in this toolbar. There you go. It's flipping. Okay. At this point here, my friends, you don't need to use the sketch anymore if you if you don't want. Because look, yeah, we have all the shapes that are already done successfully. But of course, we have all these uh, shapes that we can create out of this node. Let me do this already before I forget. I'll create some snow. And I'll create here the symbols for this one. You guys will see the, the result later on. Okay, a better result. Oh. Apply here. Duplicate by dragging. Okay. Oh, there you go. To duplicate this by dragging, you guys need to press the command, right? Command and drag. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Vectorize our friend. You know, here, I teach you all the fastest way to do the vector, my friends. Really. Oh, let me group all of this. There's no, as you guys can see. I will group them. Select, press shift and select then all, command G and there you go. Okay. Let me just group all of them here. Oh. This is the belly, the face, there you go. Of course you guys can take your time to name them. For example, oh, if you click twice here in the layer, as you guys can see, let me activate another uh, cursor mode because this one here, we don't have mouse. Per mouse, yeah. Yeah, it's better, much better. Click here in the group and type face. Here is the belly. Here is the scarf. Oh, scarf. And here is the body. Oh, just the body. And now you guys can group all of them together. And this is the main object. Main object. If you guys follow, really, if you guys follow this method that I use, you guys will feel less stressed because <laughs> this is a very organized way to, to create projects. So I have everything here organized right now. Yeah, this is the sketch, right? Uh, this one here. You can name here sketch. Okay. And now I can do here the snow below the ground. Okay. Uh, I'll create here with the pencil tool because look, guys. This is an organic shape, okay? As you guys can see, we have some, you know, waves, sort of. And now, oh, if I draw, can you see? I'm using mouse, right? There you go. Yeah, that's fine. You don't need to be perfectionist. Here, uh, the accidentals 
you know, movements can create even more uh, better uh, organized way. Bye bye, Kina. <laughs> See ya. And guys, a uh, look. Right now, I will just change here the background because at this point, I want to see a bit better, right? Uh, because as you guys can see, this character here is white, and I want to make something more with a more contrast. Okay. Now it's time, my friends, to apply the colors. Okay. And then after I apply the colors, it's time to do the details. And right now, I will select here the face. Oh, the face is here. And I will do that. Look. If you press G, you guys will select the fill tool, right? The fill tool. And if you just drag here, you guys will have just this not very nice result. Why? Because this is a rounded shape, okay? This is a sphere. Imagine that this is a 3D sphere. And look, I will change this as elliptical. And now I can just make some adjustments. I'll make this as white. Okay, uh, this one. And this one here on this side will be a bit more blue. Uh, you guys now can adjust here. Can you see now? I'll create another point on here in order to give more depth. Uh, as you guys can see, I have here this this line, okay, uh, this indicator. And I can just apply here uh, this color. So this is the composition that I'm gonna use for the colors, all right? And right now, guys, what, what you guys can do, if you select this, this shape and press Command and C, you guys will just copy, right? Copy. And now you just need to do that. So select this ellipse, click here, Edit, Paste Style. Boom, look at this. This is my friend. This is the vectorize. Okay. Vectorizing. Vectorizer friend. Right now, look, and uh, I'll just apply here some details already in this one. Okay. So there's not a rule about ah, focus on the face and then focus on the body. No, I just focus in the thing that I feel like ah, this time it's time to do that. Okay. So I will do this one. And I'll press N, search inside. But of course, I will need to set first oh, the color. I'm gonna use this one, the red. Okay, uh, select this curve, scarf. And now, you guys, I'm gonna use my tablet at this point because I want to draw freely. Uh, let's do that. One, uh, let's go. Oops, let me do this again. Two. Three. There you go. It's fine. And now, guys, what you guys can do? Oh, look, I'll apply a gradient in this one here as well. In this green shape, right? Press G, and you guys can just uh, do the the color transitions a, li a little bit like this. So look, you can you see? Why I'm doing that? Because I want to give more depth to this design. So it's very nice when you apply the shadows. And right now, my friend, I will select all these, you know, red curves, as you guys can see, and I will apply the same effect, press G and drag here, and you will, you will apply this at once in all of these red shapes, as you guys can see. Look how easy it is, my friend. Can you see? Oh, it's almost ready. I'm doing this very slowly because I want to help people that is very beginner, okay? In case you are feeling, oh my gosh, it's too fast. Pause later on, or get into the Vectorize Club, <laughs> join the Patreon, and you guys will be supporting even more all the, of these contents. Thank you, my friends! <laughs> uh, let me just apply this on here. Okay. And now it's time, remember about the symbols. Remember? You guys, of course you will remember. If you are watching me, you know, since the beginning, you guys will remember. Uh, search inside. Keep the curve select and there we go. Oh. Boom! Boom! Oh. Select this one, press G and just... Let me just change here the side. There you go. Boom! Uh, you know, after you create all the, all the shapes, everything becomes so 
even faster because it's just color. You know, it don't need to or anymore. Uh, let me just apply here a, a bit bigger. There you go. At this point, you guys can change. You know, you don't need to follow exactly the same from the sketch. The sketch is just your idea. So this is my advice to you, my friend. Okay. Oh, there you go. Later, I will apply some techniques here that you guys will love it. Okay, so as you guys can see, now it's time to make more details, I'd say. I will apply on here, in this shape here. Oh, I'll just duplicate this shape. Oh, you guys can do that. Oh, select all of these ellipses. If you press, oh, in my case, oh, you guys can click here. Layer. Oh, duplicate. Oh, duplicate. You have this option here at the top, okay? That is a bit difficult because you cannot see, you know, what this really does. But uh, if you click here, transform objects separately. Click here, enable this option. Make this as white. Don't worry. Look at this. Huh? Can you see? You guys can transform this. Simultaneously, <laughs> oh my gosh, so hard to pronounce this. Uh, and I can, I can also apply just a small gradient because I don't want to look like you know these are eyes. <laughs> look, using this option that is called transform. Uh, this one here, okay. Uh, transform objects separately, okay. <laughs> this one here, you guys can. To swarm separately as the name say okay and now let's do the eyes my friends oh, I'll duplicate this you don't need to use this option because we have the symbols applied on here oh, make this as white there you go can you see boom 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 I will use right now my master vector brush where you guys can get on my you know uh, this is available on my guru node right if you are a member on the vectorize club you guys can get a coupon discount discount in order to have this you know a bit more shape this is really one of the best uh, package that i did so far for the vector brushes let me just apply here look select the the lips and i will draw here a small shading just a small shading oh. boom look another side my friend can you see Looks like 3D, right? There we go. Oh, let's fix here this carrot because it's not so nice. In order to make this more nice, I will just make these uh, these uh, edges, select them using the the node tool, and now you guys can convert this if you click here. Uh, and now you guys can drag. There you go. Can you see? Oh. There is an option that is called uh, Corner Tool. The Corner Tool allows you to make the sharp edges rounded. Can you see this? Uh, I will explain this again because I, I want to make you understand what I'm teaching, all right? I don't, I don't want to have questions about how to make the corners rounded. No, this is not, you know, uh, I, I'm here to teach you, my friend. I don't want to uh, let, let you with questions. Can you see this sharp? Oh. Select with the corner tool and click here and drag Just like that There you go Okay And of course you guys can adjust it. I can make this more big I'm doing you know like looking at the top. Okay, that's why we have this you know in this direction But of course you guys can do that if you want to look that's why I love, you know, to work with vector because if you draw this with raster, we will, we will not be able to change this easily like you guys can do using, you know, a fin designer. I'll make this a little bit slight uh, in this way here. And I'm gonna use here the fill tool, as you guys can see. Uh, just follow what I'm doing, my friend, and you guys will be really fine. Uh, I'll make this a bit more red here below. And this one here bit more just a bit yellow oh I've just created a, a good composition about the uh, the nose 
if you want you guys can do this look how nice is this technique oh you guys can do that if you duplicate oh, press command duplicate flip this or rotate onto here okay we have the shadow arrayed already here below can you see this color we can use this as shadow if you press i and click here look what's gonna happen press this uh, this layer here below there you go can you see oh. and now you guys can apply here the transparency in order to blend this why I did here my friend I just created a kind of shadow okay what about this oh, look how nice this I can do this for this shape here as well duplicate make this inside of this carrot now make this onto here more or less and make this a bit more dark just a bit all right just a bit there you go so I've just created here my friends a kind of composition to give more more depth to this design here and remember about the eyes I will start here by inserting a very nice technique here below you guys will see the layer effects right the layer effects ah, let me bring here it's another screen layer effect come on layer effects <laughs> ah, the layer effects here and I apply the outer shadow once you apply the outer shadow pay attention to this my friend here we have the offset if you apply the offset you guys can see that we have a kind of drop shadow from the Photoshop if you are familiar with that uh, and now I will just let me change here the blend mode we have the blend mode and I will change this to overlay overlay works very nice let me see here uh, I will apply this uh, inside of this ellipse here just a sec Oh, apply here in this one. Other shadow. Again, okay. As you guys can see, if I use the overlay, where is the light will not be able to see the shadow. So, what you guys can do in order to fix this, you guys can use another another blend. I'm going to use the multiply. But at this point, I will apply this as blue, all right? Oh, change here the color a little bit. Okay. And now you guys can use here the radius. Why you guys can use the radius? Because the radius, as you guys can see, it makes this shape here that is created right now, you know, the outer shadow, a bit soft. Oh, you guys can apply here the outer shadow just like that. There you go. Thank you so much, uh, G. Alien, uh, Alien Films. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Sassizu. As well, <laughs> I really appreciate you guys for your time to watch this, and I'm here to teach you everything. Okay, so now the face is ready. I'd say the face is ready for now, but uh, I want to give more, you no, know, a bit more depth here at the top because it's not ready yet. Okay, our design we are just creating. Uh, let me just do a nice thing here on the hat. The hat is, uh, you know, it uh, is a cherry on the cake <laughs> I'd say uh, let me just why is this one here guys look at this how nice is this I'll make this more organic because as you guys can see this curve here is very flat I use right now the pencil tool with the sculpt mode so if you guys remember about the past tutorial using an iPad I've used the pencil tool with the sculpt mode in order to change the shape and look at this select the the hat all right keep the stabilizer turn it on your soft your movement and i will just do this look oh my gosh i may have a bit of lag doing that no oh my gosh so much lag in my side it's because of the rendering okay but well, let's do this oh. I hope that I will update, you know, I don't know when, but to the new Mac. 
I hope the rendering will get better with the M1, you know, with the new Mac. Because my Mac here is not very good for, you know, recording videos. It's really not so good. Yeah, but let's use what, we've, what we have. Huh. Let me just apply here, just a small... Ah, you guys can do that, look. Using the ellipse, I will do this. And now, inside of this hatch, right? Oh, and you, now you guys can duplicate this. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, duplicate, duplicate. Just drag. Boom, boom, boom. Again. Keep up, keep up, my friend. This is the vectorized. There you go. Bad, isn't it? Alright, my friends. Look. And I will apply the... Let me blend this. I'm going to merge all of this shape, as you guys can see. Because they are separately. Okay. Uh, click here at the top. That is called Add. Oh, click here. Add. And it's going to, you know, make this a single shape. There you go. And now, once you apply uh, the, the fill, press G. And apply the fill. Now make this a bit just a little bit blue. Okay. And now create here a shadow here below. How you guys can do that? Pay attention to this. <clears throat> Press N again. Insert inside. Turn off the sculpt mode because I don't want to remake this uh, this shape. Okay. Oh. And now I just create here. It's not perfect because of the leg that I'm having. And I'll try to make this just a bit more dark. Just a bit dark. Okay. There you go. This is supposed to be the shadow, right? In between. Yeah. And you guys can apply here just to have a blending. Okay. Huh. There you go. I'll draw here, uh, in this head shape, I decided to do this right now. Huh. I'll create a bit of shadow here. A flat shadow, I'd say. I like that. Huh. There you go. If you apply the shadows here, my friend, you guys can apply now the transparency just a bit in order to blend this. Can you see? And now let's apply, take advantage of this, you know, this curve here. Press N, insert inside, and draw. Oh, look at this. And draw the shadow. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Again, I'll draw here. It's very inorganic, as you guys can see. Let me copy this color here. Press I and click at the color. If you press I, the color picker will be selected. And once you use this tool and click in a one spot is going to copy that color to the shape all right oh. now you guys can change a little bit and apply the transparency oh. there you go you see it's almost ready let me copy uh this this color from here <laughs> let me just back copy and paste here below boom yeah, my friend, this is the vector eyes. It's just command C, command V, and we are done. <laughs> okay. And look, uh, now it's time to make this. Oh, let me just apply here. Oh, it's fine now. Oh, this guy here. It's, you know, the hat. Press G. Oh, keep this selected. Press G and just oh, drag in order to have this effect. Uh, look guys what I'm gonna do. I will use here the vector brush right now. Let me see which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this texture. This one here. And now if I draw, let me just check. Oh, I'm going to use the... A bit white, just a bit. Right now I'm going to draw inside of this head. Oh. B in order to select the vector brush, keep the you know 
Well, I'm gonna use this one. John Charcoal. From the Master Vector Brush, right? Uh, insert inside and draw. One. Two. Three. And four. Don't worry at this stage because I'm going to... Let me just apply here a blend mode. Because I want to blend this, right? Uh. And if you select all these curves, my friends, you guys can see here, you can apply. Oh, I like this one. The overlay, I really love. Can you see? I really like this texture and I will apply this on here as well. Okay, in these curves that I have. Uh, the same process. Search inside, draw. Let me do this again, because I'm having a bit of lag. So like this one, insert inside, draw here, just for this one, right? There we go. Now select all these curves, and you guys can apply here the overlay. This is a detail stage that I'm creating with you already, right? There we go. Can you see how simple is my process? It's very simple. Uh, there you go. Let me do here the, the arms. My friends, pay attention to this, right? We are almost finishing. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> you are late. But no, don't, no problem at all. You are my picture. You can watch this at any time. <laughs> my friends, look. Can you see here these arms? Uh, I'm going to make this, you know, uh, simple. From the stroke. Uh, can you see the, this width? We have a pressure on here, right? The pressure. Click here. On the pressure, you guys can change. Uh, to make this more, you know, like a, uh, a wood, I'd say. Uh, boom, boom, boom. But be careful because I am applying uh, with all, everything selected. But you guys can do this. Look here. Uh, let me just change here. Uh, Press A, because this is a curve, right? This is not a shape. Uh, and you guys can just uh, change here. In this detail stage, my friend, I give a lot of value you know, and time to make adjustments. As you guys can see. And now, look how nice is this. If I select the curve, I can change here to make this more sharp at the end. Uh, my friend, can you see that I'm trying to move, you know, one side and it's changing to another side, okay? And what you guys can do, uh, press command. Not command, but actually is out and start. Oh, uh, can you see? Now you guys can move just one, okay? I'd say that you need to test, right? Because I, I'm using here Mac and perhaps if you are using uh, Windows, it's a different hotkeys. So, try to test. Press everything that you have on, on there. Because in this way you guys will learn. <laughs> okay? Or you are going to learn or you guys you guys will crash your soft. But don't, no worry. Once you save your product. Oh look, I'm creating... A kind of wood. Yeah, it's enough. For this one here, let me do this as well. Again. Uh, make this more little. Okay. Oh. There you go. And now, guys, can see I will apply a color on here. For example, I will select all of this curve, press G, and this is a stroke, right? If you try to apply, it, this is what is gonna happen. Because if you apply the fill, by the standard, it's going to use the fill, right? In order to apply the fill to the stroke, you guys need to click here, okay? With the filter mode enabled, click here at the top in this context. Click here, fill, change to stroke. And now you guys can change this uh, and just apply here from this direction. Okay, uh, the light is on here and dark is more below. Okay, and there you go. Yeah, my friend, this is the vectorize. Oh, uh, look, there you go.
There you go. Yeah. <laughs> For this no my friend, I'm going to copy this copy and remember about the symbols. This is the awesome technique, my friends. Because of that. Uh, if you just press this button here, edit. Oh really? Get used to this shortcut. You go you guys will save a lot of time. Uh, so press this. Shift Command and V. Boom! Look at this, my friends. Look at this. What's happening right now? Uh, I've just applied the, you know, this color here from the snow guy to this, these balls here. And now, yeah, uh, it's inside of a symbol. That's why this is happening. The symbol is very nice because this makes an instance to others' objects. And this basically creates in, you know, real time as well. Look how nice it is. I love that, really. But be careful in case you are getting bugs. Besides uh, here. In order to give more effects, what you guys can do, uh, you can just select here this ellipse. Click here below, add the layer effects, all right? And click here, Gaussian Blur. Uh, and you guys can make this with, uh, you know, more blurry thing. Why? Because in compositions, you guys can give, you know, the feeling about, oh, more, you know, objects far uh, by creating Gaussian, you know, uh, just like this, there you go, let me just, can you see my friends, thank you, Zé do Sertão, <laughs> I love your works, sua didática é excelente, muito obrigado, thank you. My friends, right now let me change here the background because we have just finished here, okay? I don't want to get re really complex uh, into this design. I want to keep this simple. I hope that you guys really enjoy it. At this moment, I'm building a new set of you know, uh, assets for the Christmas and I will be releasing soon, okay, on my green road. It's a very awesome package, my friend. I will show you in the bonus content, all right? So stick with me. Don't leave me yet, okay? Let me show you more. Uh, let me just change here the background that is here. Uh, okay. Uh, and I will just apply here. I don't know which color I'm gonna use because this is re uh, really something personal, okay? Uh. You guys can do this. I like that. Let me just create here more snow. Boom, boom. Wow. I don't care about uh, look the the color right now. I just draw. I just draw. Oh, look. Don't care. Ah, that is ugly. And now, my friends, look. You guys can copy this one. Let me just oh, copy this one. And you guys can click here swatches. Can you see? This is a very nice tip. This is the bonus, right? Bonus content. Click here, swatches. Uh, and now you guys can, uh, you can create a palette if you want. Uh, add application palette. Click here in this icon, the plus icon. There you go. We have here saved your, your gradient that is applied here. And now if you select these curves that I've just created, okay, these recent curves, this one and this one, click here and boom. Let me remove here this stroke. I don't want to have this stroke. And now I can change this a little bit. Oh. Here we go. Boom. Ah, it's fine. Back to rise. <laughs> Back to rising. Okay. So that's a very nice way that you guys can do. Okay. Yeah. Let me apply here more, a bit more, you know, shadows. This is more shadows here. This needs to be just like that. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, my friends, let me show you uh, another thing. I've been creating a new package. This one here, where is? Ah. The Christmas package. I'm still building other objects. Hello, uh, Soy Vic from Venezuela. Hello, my friend. It's a neighborhood, you know, because I'm from Brazil. 
Look guys This is the current uh, boxes that I have Okay, the gifts There's a nice way why I'm doing this in grayscale Okay, I'm gonna show you right now For example Can you see this gift? Okay Right now, if I select, for example Let's put that you guys want to have this one, right? And I've been creating here new materials where you guys can just click, look here, make this as blue. Oh, let me show you. I'll just duplicate this and I'll apply here. Oh, let's put that. I'm gonna apply here. And also, let's put that you want to use this one here. This, uh, this guy here. Apply it at the top. Oh, my friend, this is <laughs> really nice. Oh, look. Let me just use that one, this one here, I apply here. These are going to be available soon, alright, on my green road. Uh, I apply this on here, this one here, on here. Now, here is the trick point that uh, you guys can do. Let me just hide here, this one. Hmm. For example, now if you guys select this, this gift here, this one, okay, and click here, I will apply, I can check which one I want, or I can use this blue, this blue here, this green, or this red, this pinky, this orange, so basically you don't need to change the color uh, by the shapes, just click here and you guys can change a kind of material, so let's put that I want to have this pinky. Uh, with purple and I want to change this one here. Let me zoom this more so you guys can see a bit better Select the the group and now I will apply here the yellow. There you go You see This is uh, what I'm doing so far To release on my green road. Oh, I'm going to use this one the red look how nice it is And look guys how nice is this? Oh. I will apply here if I select this group and click here. I can apply the green or this one here, let me see. I like this one. Okay. I make some gifts. Let's do on here as well. My friend, this is a huge time saver. Really. Well, let me change here to orange. And now this top side here will be. Uh, I like red for this one. There you go. And of course, you guys can apply to other ones as well. If you want to change, for example, ah, I don't like this one, I, I want to change. So just drag on into here. And let me hide this. Uh, I can change. So basically, you guys can create variations, you know, many variations, by the way. Uh, I can apply this. I will duplicate this. This one here, I'll duplicate. Uh, look at this. Duplicate again. Resize a bit. Oops. Let me duplicate. Resize. I will change this color. Let's apply here this one. This one I will change to you know to make variations. Let me to apply this one. And now let me grab this one here. And I will apply here. Yes, my friend, this is the vectorize. Uh, you know, I've been uh, working a lot with games, as you may know. I'm a game artist, so in game art you need really to be fast. You need to, you know, uh, change things fast, change the color fast. You cannot, you know, spend a lot of time changing the shape. So you need to save a lot of time by changing the, only the color. So it's like, you know, when you do characters and outfits, for example, if you are playing <laughs> uh, PUBG or, yeah, you know, the games, we have outfits, the customized way that you guys can change the clothes. And most of them, they always change the colors, you know, the color scheme, and etc. So that's why I like to, you know, make things very fast, you know, because you need to be very, you know, fast in the game industry. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this bonus content. And I'll be releasing, you know, this package. It's not just this. I have more to create, okay? The plants, some trees. I'm still working hard in order to release this on time. I hope I'm going to release this uh, in this week, <laughs> more or less, at the beginning of the next week, I hope. Okay, so let me open here to the question, my friend. Look at this. Uh, let me just 
uh, apply this node to everything. Just a sec. Guys, let me know if it is working yet, the live streaming, because... You... Oh, look... Uh, look at this. Oh. YouTube is saying me that uh, my live streaming is, you know, in a low connection. Ah, come on, YouTube. <laughs> my internet is not so bad, as you say. Let me just uh, duplicate here. Oh. I'll duplicate this onto here. To here. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Now it's fine. Okay, my friend. Ah, look. I did this in real time with you, showing you my process in a very simple way. Oh, let me show you. Let me grab my head. The vector right. Remember, you guys can join the Patreon, all right? If you want to learn more from my my things, I'm always willing, you know, uh, to help you. Woo! Thank you, guys. Uh, let's see who is here. Thanks, uh, Carmen from Mundo Hapix. How do you set up the what tick? Set up materials in the symbols. Uh, I've created you know, the color effect basically. I've created a color effect and save it as a style, and then I apply over the uh, the grayscale object, you know. And hello, my friend. Oh, I'm going to be available on the Discord, right? So I want to ask you uh, to the uh, not Discord, but to the patrons. To join the Discord, I want to talk with you. I want to know, you know, things that you guys are facing, the problems. If, if I can help you somehow, and I want to tell you that I'm building right now uh, a kind of course with an ebook. Uh, let me show you the behind of the scenes, right? Behind of the scenes. Uh, you guys are my, really my friends because you guys are always with me. This means a lot. Uh, I'm doing here. <laughs> let me show you. Where is uh, an ebook? Okay, followed by a kind of guide. It's going to be called a film design essentials iPad. Okay, and here I I will show you you know how you guys can use the tools because if you are not familiar with the app, perhaps you guys will feel lost, you know, during my process. But it's because I try to teach you in a more intuitive intuitive way. You know, I try to uh, to not get only about the software because. I like to remember to people that if this software, let's put that, is get like Adobe. So don't rely about the software. Rely about your skills, your visual library, you know, your process. Because the process can be used in the many different softwares. Okay? You guys can do that in other softwares. Okay. And yeah, I've been creating this ebook that is not ready yet, okay? Because I still need to finish and record, you know. And basically, these are going to be the topics that you guys will see, okay? Uh, I'm using the Affinity Publisher in order to create this ebook. Um, this ebook will be available for those that get into this uh, course that I'm creating. So, my friends, really, I'm working really hard in order to uh, help everybody to, you know, get the better of Affinity Designer uh, with me, with the iPad, with desktop, no matter, you know, which tools. Uh, you guys are using okay uh, Tarcizio uh, thank you Tarcizio are you asking about can you also create animated drawings with affinity to be honest no but of course you you can create multiple layers and cr can create you know sketch one by one but to be honest I don't recommend you to do that if you have iPad and Procreate you can do that you know uh, there are the um, the traditional animations is work by frame by frame, you know, and the frame by frame you need to draw each movement by frames. But if you are animated, want to be animated like I am, I do animations using the Spine, Spine Pro, and I usually uh, do the animations by interpolation. So I record. It's like the video movement, you know. Let me open here my screen. Let me open here my screen. And there you go. <laughs> so let me explain here some questions I read before I go. So ask questions on, on there, okay, if you want. And before you go, you can join on the Patreon in order to help <laughs> this channel. <laughs> okay, uh, you guys, 
uh, think about you know the animations like interpolation or traditional by you know one by one. I I'm using you know the Spiner Pro because uh, you guys can for example create one point and another point, and once you do that, uh, the animation will just uh, the software will do this you know all the interpolation uh, alone, let's say. But if you are a traditional animator, you know you guys perhaps will struggle because you need to have at least some drawings fundamentals, animations fundamentals. Let me show you before I go. Or, right. but I still I need to plug here. Just show you, okay? Where is? Ah. Just a sec, my friends. Before I go. <laughs> oh, let me share with you. I see it's working. I mean, just grabbing here my iPad, right? Oh, just a sec. Woo! Hello, everybody. Welcome to the back. <laughs> Let's just go up again. I'm using Procreate here, okay? Oh, Procreate right now. And let me just grab here. Yeah, I'm gonna use a rondo brush, okay? I have my set, my brush set. That's called GSS Sketch Brushes. These are my favorite brushes that I use for Procreate. What's happening? What? Where is the music? There's a delay here. One, two, three. Okay. Guys, uh, here, let me see if I remember, because I don't use a lot Procreate. Uh. Where is... Yeah. This is it. Animation Assist. Activities mode here, uh, Animation Assist. And right now, this is a traditional animation. For example, I do this ball here. Look how nice it is. I do here a ball. Oh. Let me create here a layer. Oh, I will do a, here a ball. One, oh, add a frame. Two, oh, I'm doing this very fast, okay? Just let me know if it's working, please. Because I'm mean, having a big delay here, I don't know why. Oh. Add. There you go. And now oh, I will do this a bit more intervals here. Oh. Creating. And now the ball will fall. And now we'll just. Oh. Just like, I will hit play right now, look. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this, my friend, how nice it is. The ball is just uh, jumping. <laughs> oh, look how nice, let me just pause here. Let's suppose that we have an object coming from here, oh, look. It's getting here, or. Oh. oh, look. So sick, my friend. I'm just okay. I'll hit play. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Tell me if you guys enjoyed this small lesson animation tutorial. Look, the ball is just you know jumping. Oh my gosh, race! There's a lot of lag. I... Sorry, my friend. I don't know why I'm having a lot of lag. Oh, there. Just a sec. Ah, wait a, wait a sec, let me just... Let me create here another Windows for the, the iPad. Video capture device. Window capture. Let me see. No, I do iPad. iPad screen. Let's see if this will work. Okay, now it seems working. <laughs> oh my god, the ball seems so crazy. Uh, can you see what I did? Yeah, hey, friends, I'm having, you know, this delay because of my rendering. As I said, the Mac is not so good for rendering things. Yeah, but you guys can see, right? I hope so. Oh, uh, from... Ooh! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. But I hope that some of you have just seen this. Let me back. Let me delete this. Okay. Back on here, my friends. Yeah, that's all. 
hope that you guys enjoyed this small lesson and unfortunately I got this bad result I apologize but I hope to see you the next week I'm going to do a challenge review in the next week hit the like if you guys enjoyed this tutorial please and you guys can join on the patreon if you want to support this channel I'm going to remove right now the the lesson from the past you know week that I did the the lion if you remember okay so that's all my friends I hope to see you in the next week okay bye bye see you bye bye Diana Tim Tic Zé do Sertão Mundo Rex Tarcísio Angela Shrak Caracala Shrak <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this name Brandon Tim yeah guys thank you bye bye Oh, the lag is so huge here. Bye bye, guys. See you. Where is the lag drive? Bye bye. See you. Back to rise.